So the first question is about like, uh, when you come to America, like for one year right now, like. Okay, so yeah. what do you feel like about America? Like the how do you feel like the food or the socialize or studying here? So I have been in America for more than one year now. What?、Well? Um, well, since I'm a sophomore. That's something I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but、um, definitely, there's a lot of、uh, like a culture shock. So like whenever you go to a new country or、um, just. In new area in general,、um, the food, the people around you, just cultural in general, it will brings you like such a shock, which is exactly what I experienced when I just got here. I had well, I was not really missing home. It's just that I wasn't feeling like I didn't have a social circle. You know, whenever you enter into a new place all by your own,、um, so that was definitely really scary. Just. Go without friends in a you know just bunch of strangers around you,、um, but beside that, I was able to make a lot of friends eventually.、Um, it's just I love Asian food, so I starting to learn how to cook. Before I would just in back in Beijing, I would just you know <laughs> order food or just let my parents cook. But, yeah, it's different. Yeah, so.、Um, And I am actually experiencing a lot of like, you know, just new food here. Just like experiment with what I like, the food、um, that I like here.、Um, but in general, I feel like it was really challenging, and it got give me a lot of experience to you know just to grow in general. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So when do you usually miss your home? Uh, I felt like I miss my home and family most when the when some Chinese traditional festivals come, because、uh, in the past eighteen years I always spend my time with my family,、uh, like each spring festival. However,、uh, when I study at America, I, I it's the first time that I did not spend the time with my family. And、uh, expect that I I spend the festival with my family、uh, with my with my friends. Um. So when so doing the festival and、uh, hanging out with your friend right now. Uh yes, because my my family are not here, so. Uh, I spend like each festival with my friends,、oh. and at that time I felt like like so warm. Um. So you told me that you're trying to cook some food here、yes. by yourself. Yeah. So uh, when you do these things, will you feel like beware of your self identity of a Chinese? Yeah. So, well, it's complicated because whenever you're Like, well, I use a lot of social media, and whenever I cook, I usually share a lot of food on them, and especially my food that I made. And they would just ask, like, "What is that? What is the food that you're making?" And you know, you just became, you know, don't know what to say because it's a traditional Chinese cuisine. And if it, even if you tell them the name of the thing, they will not understand、yeah. what it is. What is in it? So. I just start like a whole rambling about like you know what is in it like what do you do with the food like how is the chicken prepared how is the chicken made like what do you add into that so whenever I do that I realize that I have a gap between the people here and myself as a Chinese because you know those food are if like. If I am among my Chinese fellows, I would just instantly tell them what I'm making, and they will understand what they did. But if I'm saying that to a bunch of like you know,、uh, just American people, they would just not understand. So, I yes, I will become aware whenever I am making Chinese food on my own. Okay. So very glad to have an interview with you.、Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good day.